Recently, I got asked a question on how I was able to create an animation or an exploded view in Fusion 360 and then be able to share it to someone who doesn't have Fusion 360. So, in my Fusion 360 design over here, I've got the, the sample set to the, the bicycle frame over here and I'm going to go and create an animation or exploded view of this. So, I'm going to go to my animation environment and at the bottom over there, you can see I've got a um, a timeline over here and what I want to do is I want to go and automatically explode this so I could go to my transform and just transform each con component individually and just you know sort of move it to where I want to I'm not going to do that I, I just want to go take it explode it all automatically put some callouts in and then send it off to my client or to the one who needs to review this so what I'm going to do is if I just click on transform explode all levels it's going to give me an error message saying no available components for exploding well not really an error message but an info message so what you need to do first you need to select everything okay and we are then going to select everything and then we're going to go and automatically explode it so go to auto explode all levels Yeah, this might take a little bit of time depending on sort of how many components you have selected and then you'll see it'll give you a little preview of how it's exploded your components over there now if I wanted to make the explosion a little bit bigger you can see that I can just scale it up or scale it down okay let's have it sort of kind of halfway in the middle there so once that's done I click on OK and there we go. Now what I can do is I can go and uh, it's going to go take it to a nice view over here. Okay, using my view cube in the top right hand corner, very very useful and available in all the Autodesk products. So you know you you are used to the way that a 3D component will will operate. So if I look at my animation, I'm just going to just last for one second. I go to the bottom here, click on play and it you know it takes a second for it just to come out and have two different camera views as well so what I'm actually going to do is because I wanted to go up to that 4.1 second I'm just gonna go and using my shift select select all my movements right click and you can see their duration and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set must go up to 4.1 seconds okay now if I go back to the beginning of it you'll see there that it gradually opens up and will um, be exploded that way now while it's exploded maybe I want to get, put some annotations in so I can create a call out and just label some of this stuff so I can say well this is the main frame okay and do another call out you know this is the main spring very very ooh, the main spring the main spring okay so once that's done I can just see how it is great there we go comes up and then my callouts are and I can select my callout or hold over my cursor over there and it tells me that this is the main frame now to to export or to publish this click on publish and it gives me a couple of video options here so if I had more than one storyboard I could just say look all storyboards into one video or just the current storyboard then I can choose what resolution I want. I can make it a custom as well. And once hitting on OK, it gives me two options to save it. So I can either save it on the cloud in one of my folders or my projects, or I can save it locally to my computer and then send it off to someone else. OK. So once that's done, I am going to go and save this now. So let's go save. And then just save it so that I can now share this drawing so that anyone else can take a look at this design over here. So with this design, I'm just going to go to my data panel over here. And you'll see there's my bike frame on the web. I can right click on this and I've got an option to share links. So if you have worked with AutoCAD or you know, Invent or anything like that, you'll see under the collaboration tab, I think it is, that there is a create a shared views or shared link which allows people to then see that model on the internet without having any um, viewer or installer installed okay so not installer installed any viewer installed like DWG TrueView or Inventor View for instance 
So now what I've got over here, I can go and say, you know what, I want them allow them to be download this this object, share the latest version with anyone using this public link, and then I can also put a password on if I wanted to. So once that's done, I'm just gonna go copy this. Copy. Okay. And sorry, did I share this link now? Share link. Okay, there we go. Great. Copy. And I'm going to go now and look for my look for it on the web now. Okay, so there we go. So let's go and paste that in over there. And you'll notice that because I said it was downloadable, you'll see that I've got a download button over here. And when I download it, it will be able to download any of these type of, um, you know, any of these, you know, SketchUp file format, FBX, SDL, DXF, STEP, SMT, SAT, IGES, OBJ. Or I can open it back up in Fusion 360. And then if I want to look at this as an exploded module, I just click on the explode button and then you can see I can explode it this way so you know even if I hadn't exploded this inside Fusion 360 you'll see I can still get a pretty good exploded view of here so the guys can take a look at it okay if I go to my animations you'll see there this is my storyboard one <clears throat> okay it just looks like this hasn't come through um, but going back to my my design over here, you'll see there I can, oh, sorry, <laughs> my apologies, just down at the play button over here, there we go. So you can see how it's exploded the, the model over there. So I just missed that play button. And there as well, I can see my, this is the main spring or the many spring over there. Okay. <clears throat> and up there, okay, so this is the main frame. Okay, has it attached to that? So I have to take a look at that. I've just done something in my <clears throat> in my animation where I've just got to maybe tweak the uh, the animation a bit and where that um, where this call out actually comes in. So it's just remained in the place over there. I just got to go bring it back in. So so there we go. So now what I've done is I've created uh, you know my Fusion 360 model. I've created an animation out of that, and then I'm able to then go and as I said previously, I was studying my design. I'm able to go explode it. But if I come to my animation and play it, I'm able to then also go and see my callouts over there. Okay. But as I said, that is a little bit out of place. Just need to go and fix it up in my model, and I'm good to go. Send it to the client. Everyone's happy. And that's how we take Fusion 360, animate or explode and some objects, and send it to a client. Thanks very much for watching.